Hey there, I'm out here on December 4th, 2017, doing a little field work. Um, I've been doing some uh, throughout the fall here. This is, if you can see behind me here, this is my one acre open ground I have on my 20 acres, uh, uh, hunting grounds. This is a uh, utility right of way. It's got overhead power lines. Over here is my neighbor, or here is my line, and that's my neighbor's uh, utility pole, and that's his open ground. Right here's the road, if you can see that. So there's a little breakdown of what I have. Well, um, one thing when I bought the property, this big pile of tops and logs were there when they uh, when they harvested the woods here behind me. And the woods are nice and thick, slash, popple, um, some of the, it's the thickest around the area. Got a lot of deer bedding in it. But what am I, what I'm doing here today with this is, um, tilling this ground up, getting it prepared for switchgrass. And I'm going to do a switchgrass barrier along the fence line here, and then a, a, a switchgrass along the road. I've already planted over there. Um, along the road some miscanthus grass so that's coming up this is going to be second or third year next year so hopefully that'll do a better job of blocking the road off there and then here I'm doing some switch grass so I'll I'm gonna pause this here and I'll pick it back up right over there okay it's as the weather turns around here starting to rain right now and after today it looks like it's going to be cold and I probably won't this is probably the little bit of the last field work I'll be doing now my property overall is pretty low it gets really wet in the spring um, especially this area right here of this this is pretty much water almost till May um, no matter how much snow we get it's going to be wet so this is a little bit low you can they can't really see how it raises, but it does raise where the driveway is. This is going to be a strip switchgrass, and the philosophy behind this is just for blocking and to make the deer feel a little bit more safe. I got deer out here, um, pretty much not nightly, but I got you know the local deer herd knows about the house, and they're kind of comfortable with being around houses and some human scent. The bucks are not. Uh, I do get a lot of activity here, but it's mostly at night, and I just want them to feel a little bit safer and more comfortable. Now, the switchgrass, um, I'm getting ready for the switchgrass here, and, and tilling, I, I'm trying to eliminate as much competition as I can. Switchgrass, it takes, to germinate, uh, at least the soil temperature being 60 degrees or more. That's usually around here in mid-Michigan towards the end of May before it even germinates. I'm going to plant it before that. I'm going to plant it, um, it I'll, I might plant it this winter sometime. The latest I'll plant it is March. So even though I plant it now, it's just going to be sitting there until the soil temperature turns 60 degrees again. Um, again, I may probably do this. I'll probably end up doing this in the spring but we will see I got a couple different uh, uh, techniques I'm going to use my my Yanmar cedar I'm I want to test out and do it and do some research on it and I also may just broadcast it and call the packet so I may use a couple different techniques here but to see what works the best um, now there's gonna be a whole bunch of other things germinating before the soil temperature gets 60 degrees um, I can spray with glyphosate or I uh, might use simazine, simazine, uh, another chemical. So I'm prepping now, getting ready to eliminate competition, get ready to, 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 to plant native warm season grass. So sorry I had to stumble through this, but this will be an ongoing deal. Um, subscribe to the channel to see that. I'll put native warm season grasses or switchgrass planting updates uh, but you'll be able to follow along if you subscribe it's free on YouTube all you need is a Gmail uh, account 
or an email. And if you have that, that's it. Thanks for watching.